Hello, my lovely red mare crew. I thought we might do another brushing video. Oh, I'm not at all sure about the angle of this. <laughs> Can you even see the red mare? Hello, poo poo. Yes. I want to take one step back for the lovely people. Just one. Good and well. Good job. Is that yes? That's a bit better, anyway. Um. I just wanted to jump on. I love this expression. My friend Jane Pike, who runs an incredible thing called Joyride and Confident Rider, she's always jumping on all the way from New Zealand. And uh, I wanted to talk to you about gratitude. Gratitude's one of my big things. I really try and apply it in life. It's not always easy. It's much easier to just, to just, um, you know, bitch and moan about everything. But the gratitude is, oh, look at her, look at, let's see if I can turn the camera a little bit. Can you see, look, can you see the happy face? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Are you in the place of peace? Are you? I talk very quietly so I don't wake you up. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, gratitude is, it's just a life changer really because it transforms all the stories that you tell yourself. So instead of saying, I've got a terrifying vet bill to pay and, um, I don't have enough time at the moment because I'm working to pay the vet bill to do as much for my horses as I'd like. And what's the thing? It's just, it's really, oh, hello. It's really never enough time. And I could really step into that and get infuriated and frustrated and I'm just having to dash down here for 20 minutes and quite often I don't get to ride her and all that kind of stuff. I hate even the sound of me saying that because it just sounds so unbelievably spoiled. Because look, yes, that all that is true, but yes, even 20 minutes a day, in the middle of the day, in a rush, is more than I might have, and more than lots of people have. I saw a little girl this morning. All she wants is a pony. It's all she dreams of. And she got to spend two hours with a pony. And it nearly broke my heart. That's why I started thinking about gratitude. I have a pony. And it doesn't matter if the situation isn't always ideal because nobody's situation is ideal. And this has been a bit of a theme for me lately is I've been, I see quite a lot of memes going round and it's all about the sort of disastrous side of horsemanship or the exhausting side of it, you know, the, the drawbacks of having horses. Where are you off to? Me? You want to go back again for me? And I suddenly thought, we're so lucky. We're so lucky, the people who have the horses. I mean, it's crazy luck that they even consent to be with us. They've been evolving for 56 million years. 56. And we just pitched up 300,000 years ago, we homo sapiens. And yet they consent to share their lives with us. And it is consent, because everybody who's ever worked with a horse knows it's very hard to make a half-town animal do what she doesn't want to do. And they put up with our funnynesses and our apparent desire for winning things. 
that must feel so odd to them. Although, having said that, there are definitely horses who have got that little alpha competitiveness. Um, they put up with our funny clothes. They put up with our moods. They can feel all those. They can. We come down to the field carrying a boatload of worry. They can feel that like a storm coming. And they do all these incredible things, mostly just being themselves. Yeah. Oh, darling, you scratchy. Yes, you are. So here's what I'm thinking. Of course there are downsides. Of course, you know, I've got somebody who's got a horse at the moment with arthritis. And that's a real worry for her. I've got someone who had to send her horse away um, because sort of quite nebulous things to do with blood sugars and just general body wellness. And so she can't have her horse with her at the moment. I mean, everybody knows this. Everybody has this story. They're going to go on the most incredible ride ever and the horse goes hopping lame. Everybody's been outside in a thunderstorm, desperately trying to, um, sorry, that's a little notification, trying to slap a poultice on. And you can live in those stories, but how about living in the glory stories? In the we're just so lucky that these magnificent creatures, I mean, look at her. How did I get to spend time with this person? It's kind of a joke. It's so lucky. And I do think we are the stories that we tell ourselves. So try, if you're having one of those manic days and you're running down to the yard and there's not enough time and you're beating yourself up and you're thinking this is going to be the third day in a row I didn't ride or do my schooling or whatever it was. Just stop and say, hold on. Let's dance the gratitude dance. Yes. Let's just stop and say, I am so lucky even to be in the presence of this majestic creature. I'm so lucky that I was that little pony girl who grew up to have her dreams come true. Yeah, that's a better story. That's a better story. <laughs>